I was surrounded by people who were committed to supporting me in my PhD. So I have a partner and children who we decided as a family that this is what we were going to do. And to have a person, um, my husband, helping me and sharing in every single aspect of our home life was the most important thing. Um, it wasn't all down to me and that was, that was the most important thing. But just to surround yourself with, with people who understand what you're trying to do and who are as committed as you are to supporting you in your PhD as you are to doing it. Um, and then also being very, very obsessive about every time, every workday that you're scheduled and using that calendar to the best of your ability. As nurses, we need to reflect the patients and the people that we serve. Um, and the more diverse our nursing profession is, the better we are going to be able to serve the people who we take care of. Um, and that goes for as we get higher and more advanced degrees in nursing. Um, so maybe if you weren't considering a, a career in nursing or a master's degree or a PhD in nursing, but you see somebody who looks like you, who has come from a similar background, who has had a similar experience, and you see that they're doing it, and it will show you that you can do it too. And it's our job as people in nursing to create this environment and to bring as many nurses from as many diverse places in the world as we can, and it's only going to make nursing better. You know, there were so many pivotal moments in my nursing. Um, every year, you know, you finish the first year of coursework and that is a major accomplishment. When you get into the second year, you're a little bit deeper in. But I think for me, the most pivotal moment was when I started to put the data from my study together and really see how things were coming together and to be sitting and to do that data analysis um, and to see how all of the things that I had been learning about over the past three years were coming together and were telling the story and answering my research questions in a way um, that was often very unexpected, but in a very in a way that was just uh, it was it was a real turning point for me. The advice I would give to someone who's considering a PhD at Wayne State in nursing is just to do it. Uh, we need your voice, especially if you are a nurse of color, if you are a nurse from a diverse background, your voice is needed in nursing. Um, if you come to Wayne State, you are going to be in a, in a, in a very supportive environment, and uh, so I would just say to do it, you're needed in nursing. So I wanted to be at Wayne State because I wanted to be in Detroit. I wanted to have that experience deeply rooted in the city of Detroit, and so I wanted to be um, with educators, professors, um, academics who were looking specifically at things that mattered to Detroit. Um, it was very important to me to be in that because that those were the people who I work with and in my clinical practice and those are the the people who I am interested in um, learning from through my research and ultimately the people who I hope will benefit one day from my research. So being in Detroit was the most important factor for me.